The Oregon Health Authority recently made a change to its mask policy for indoor high school sports, a move that's been met with controversy. Max Goldwasser gets things started now and explains why. Max, what does OHA's new guidance allow? Well, Lee, as of last Friday, a face covering like this is no longer necessary during competition for some sports, regardless of a vaccine. But it's not the policy itself, it's what was left off the list, which has some people up in arms. Confused and concerned, the new mask policy from the Oregon Health Authority has left many people with more questions than answers. I wouldn't say I'm upset. I don't really get upset by anything anymore. You just kind of take it as it comes. The guidelines released last Friday deal with updates for indoor high school sports. Student athletes can now ditch the mask during competition for swimming, gymnastics, water polo, and wrestling, regardless of vaccination status. The masks were deemed not feasible for these sports and a potential choking hazard in wrestling. But as you can see, one major sport was left off that list. Basketball. I do, I do wonder why our kids can't play without masks. It would be great. High school basketball is the only season four activity not included in OHA's new guidance. Unlike those other sports, there's only one way you'll be allowed to play without a mask on. Do you have your uh, vaccination card? Yes. Do you want to see it? Yes. Yeah. And that's with proof of vaccination. Now, a state lawmaker is getting involved. District 55 representative Vicki Breeze Iverson sending this letter to Governor Kate Brown on Thursday. In it, she says, Governor, this is unacceptable. Basketball is underway now, and kids around the state are at risk from complication due to a lack of oxygen from wearing masks in cardiovascular intense sports. How can the OHA justify that wrestling without a mask poses less of a COVID-19 transmission risk than playing basketball? The Oregon School Activities Association is asking the same question, but Executive Director Peter Weber says their hands are tied. I'm hopeful that there will be changes. It's a, it's a little bit of a different position when we're not the ones making making those decisions. Weber says OSAA recently sent its own request to OHA for basketball to be included in these new policies, but no progress has been made so far. And I also reached out to OHA this evening to see if they could offer me any updates, but no one was available for comment.